Hey y'all, Elf here. So today we are pretty much going to talk about how I have not washed my hair in over a month. Um, this is why I'm wearing this scarf right now. You'll see in a second. I actually did not mean to do this. It kind of just happened. I'm, I'm just going to talk about what I used or because someone was like, how the F is your scalp like not on fire? Like how has all your hair not falling out? And we're, I'm just going to talk about some things. Um, but first of all, I do want to, so you can see these swatches on my hand, um, and they, they're smudge proof. So this is a new brand that just came out, um, a black owned brand, Dope Queens Cosmetics. And these are two of the shades I picked up on Friday and they actually are already here today. So that's really great. Um, but I will be testing these. So I'm impressed with the, I mean, it's not on my lips, but I'm impressed with the formula so far because it's completely smudge proof and I really like the colors. Um, also, I am wearing Minted Cosmetics Dark Night on my lips, um, Minted, um, if we're talking, especially if we're, well, especially if we're talking cream lipsticks, um, Minted is my fave black owned brand, um, for that, and they actually, so they do, you know, they specialize in nude colors for women of color, and I have the entire line, I have all the lip glosses and I have all the shades of lipsticks. And I love all of them. And it's insane because one of the colors, I was like, well, maybe this is too light for me. It was like one of the pink ones um, just because I prefer deeper pinks. And I, I just love it all. But anyway, all right, let's, let's talk about some hair stuff. Okay. So this is, this is a hot mess. So I blew out my hair on September 9th for my friend's wedding. And the next day, sometimes like after, you know, your hair is kind of, frizzy after you wear it in a blown out style. So I did um, big fat long curls. And I was like, you know, <laughs> my hair feels fine. Like it feels nice. Like I don't, the two main things that I don't like um, with blowouts is A, my hair feels dry or if it feels tangled or if it's so frizzy that it just looks a hot mess. And I'm just like, I need to get in the shower and just wet my hair and just wear it, you know, in its natural state. Um, but then the next day I was like walking around Chicago all day with my hair just in a messy bun and then I just kept wearing that messy bun and then I would like put my hair in a low bun like this pretty much at night and I would, like usually like if I wasn't going out like my hair has been like this in the house the whole time just because I'm trying to fight that frizz. Um, but then I was like well this still doesn't look bad so I decided to just keep it like so, and here we are a month later and my hair is still like this. So, it's a little frizzy today. Um, I'm, that's why I wanted to do this video because I'm probably gonna wash my hair in the next few days because it's been raining all week and rain, blow out hair, blown out hair do not mix. Um, and yeah, that's not gonna work out for me. But, okay, so the first thing I did to maintain my hair is I talked about this in my Elantris review but this butter has been a freaking like my bestie this whole time it's actually almost gone which is crazy because i never ever use up butters this quickly um but it's so light because it's a whipped butter and it's whipped like to perfection and you can put it on and it actually softens your hair um it does like it makes your hair feel like a bit more moisturized and then it doesn't coat your hair so much that it just feels so oily and thick and nasty that you need to, you know, get rid of that buildup. So that was number one. And then I also moisturize my hair uh, when it is blown out or flat ironed. I use um, oil and whipped pudding. And that one, I just put it on very, very light. I do have an article about this, so I'm going to leave that in the details. But you just apply it very, very lightly. And then I put my hair in a little bun at night. As you can tell, um, some of these tips are not going to work for you if you um, can't put your hair in a bun because my hair is probably in a bun 90% of the time when it's blown out. Um, but then, one of the other things, and then this is my seamless comb that I use. I just detangle my hair every few days, um, make sure like my hair, all my hair isn't falling out. Um, but then, so, you know, obviously you start to get sebum build up on your scalp. I don't know anyone who is not going to get sebum buildup on their scalp from wearing their hair out for as long as I have. And as you can look, you can see, like, my hair is just, ooh, girl, oh my. I mean, that's just how it's gonna be, though, because, 
like I said, like I think someone was like, well, how like how do you do that? Acting like I walk around with my hair out like this all the time. But look, I have textured hair and it's not relaxed. So my curls are like flirting to come back. So I just got used to like my hair is going to be frizzy. It's going to be textured. Um, if it wants to be a big blown out looking, you know, whew, I do not mind because that's how my hair is and that's how it looks. Um, that's probably also why most of the time it's in a bun. But this dry shampoo is pretty awesome. Um, this is by Batiste. Um, this is their floral and flirty blush one. Um, they have like tropical and all this kind of stuff. So basically dry shampoo is supposed to help clean your hair, um, give you some body, and um, kind of help out your scalp a little bit. So this is funny. Added body and texture transformed your look. I wasn't even really spraying this on my hair. I was probably mainly spraying this on my roots. Um, just so my hair wasn't so weighed down by, um, the, you know, oil in my scalp. And then, you know how sometimes, like, <laughs> you know, you know how so, I just think it's funny when, um, when you have your hair out and then you don't want to wash it, but you're kind of like, like hitting your head. It's like itchy. So if you spray this on your head, so I know I have, um, scalp damage from my relaxer. Um, I used to burn my scalp frequently. I relaxed my hair myself and I used to burn my hair all the time or my scalp all the time. It was horrible. Um, and then, so, but it, so that part of my head itches a lot, right? No matter what, no matter if it's uh, curly, straight, whatever. So I spray this on it though. And I spray that on it and it basically like, it almost, and I just like kind of like, you know, like rub my fingers into my scalp and it just feels so nice. It almost like, it like refreshes your scalp and it's wonderful. Oh my God. Ooh, yeah. So then, okay. So I would do that like on my scalp and then you can see, let me just see if I can do this. Well, you actually have to spray it a lot. It's not even good with that. Sometimes it gets white right here. Um, if it gets white, you can just brush your hair. This is my Mason Pearson brush. I don't know how long y'all have been following the channel, but this brush is probably like five years old and it was like $100. So I'm not throwing this away, even though like some of the teeth are gone right here because I ripped it when I was cleaning it one time. But if that happens, you can just brush it out, even though that's not happening right now. Oh, it's nice. And it just feels like silky and nice. Like the ingredients aren't like going to do anything for you. It's really just propane, rice, starch, and fragrance, and fragrance, and butane, you know, it's like aerosol, but oh my gosh, I just love it so much, and yeah, so that's pretty much how I've been maintaining my hair, and you're looking at me like, girl, your hair is, don't judge me, you know, sometimes you just need a break, but I'm just going to put it back in a bun, and walk around my house, and you know, like a lot of the time, I'll, you know, put my hair up, and put it in like a big tall bun. I think I have a, I think I have a tutorial on that too. For, um, I call it a ballerina bun. But anyway, so just put it back up. Go about my day and sometimes I don't even use a hair tie. Let's put it back. And then like I said, you sleep in the scarf to um, smooth your hair down some. Like I said, it's super humid right now. So my hair will not be leaving um, this bun because I can even feel it getting frizzy just as I'm doing this but yeah it's just like this crazy thing um and you know what I'm not even gonna lie I'm, it made me consider wanting to blow out my hair more and just kind of like leave it for a few weeks at a time then wash it blow it out again wash it blow it out and because I didn't want to put double heat on my hair like I didn't want to keep putting heat on it and like flat ironing it and heat styling it but ugh, I just hate wet hair and I feel like having my hair dry is like amazing to me, but I don't even know. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, as always, thank you for watching. You know, hit the subscribe button so you can talk to me, so you know when I do new videos. And then, um, yeah, if you have you tried this, I think the longest I ever went before was three weeks with flat iron hair, completely flat iron hair. But this is like new new to me and blowing it out didn't take that long probably maybe took an hour so it compared to four hours to completely flat iron my hair so this is 
a lot better. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's it. So let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye, y'all.